My name is John and I'm on the Navy team and we're going to win because we designed a rover that is rugged, reliable and easy to use. Hi, my name is Amanda, I'm part of Team Gold and our team is going to win because we have some cool programs and a sustainable structure that can handle a wide range of rugged terrain. My name's Chris, I'm on the green team, and we're going to win because we built an amazing rover. It's a simple design, it can handle terrain, and it can accomplish the mission that it's set out to do. My name's Juliana, I'm a member of the red team, and I believe our rover's going to win because of its minimalistic design and overall effectiveness. We included fewer parts, so there's less chance for things to go wrong with our rover. I think this experience is a great opportunity because it's given me some insight on what actually engineering is all about and how to work on a team together in an engineering firm. By talking to actual engineers, by actual scientists, and seeing the work that they do, I'm able to integrate that into my own academic work and reflect on that in my life and use that to become a better person and a more competitive candidate and someone that can someday contribute more to a team. Being a female in the engineering field, a lot of the time I'm not looked down upon, but people maybe even expect less. But coming here and seeing all of the female engineers and people in NASA and even people telling me how great I can be here, it was, I think that was my favorite part. Being given the opportunity to, um, to lead, it was something I never expected because I always thought I would be a follower. I never expected to lead. Thank <laughs> you.